Hi, and welcome back to our channel, Coggins Kitchen. I'm Julia. And I'm Charlotte. Have you ever had a hot pretzel from a New York City street vendor before? No, but I've had one at a ball game before, and I love hot pretzels. <laughs> Me too. Today we're going to be making soft pretzel rolls, which are just as good. We will be using a recipe from America's Test Kitchen Kids. You can find a link to this recipe in the description box under this video. Just as in our pizza demo, you will need extra time for this dough to rise. So, this is a good recipe to start in the morning and finish in the afternoon. This recipe relies on the power of a standing mixer to knead the dough. We don't recommend kneading this dough by hand. It's very stiff and would require more than 20 minutes of kneading. Let's get started. The tools you will need for this recipe are a standing mixer with dough hook, whisk, measuring cups, measuring spoons, two bowls, one that's microwave safe, plastic wrap, a rimmed baking sheet, parchment paper, oven mitts, spoon, ruler, bench scraper or kitchen shears, pastry brush, paring knife, and a cooling rack. The ingredients you will need for this recipe are three and three quarters cups bread flour, two teaspoons of instant or rapid rise yeast, two teaspoons of table salt, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of packed brown sugar, one and a half cups room temperature water plus one half cup of water measured separately, vegetable oil spray, one tablespoon baking soda, one large egg, and one teaspoon of pretzel salt or kosher salt. Remember to wash your hands before you cook. This prevents the spread of germs. In a standing mixer bowl, combine the yeast, flour, and salt. Combine the vegetable oil, brown sugar, and warm water. Stir until the sugar has dissolved. Start mixer on low speed and slowly pour in the water mixture. Mix until no dry flour is visible. About two minutes. Increase the speed to medium low and knead the dough for about eight minutes. Spray. Transfer the dough to a clean counter and use your hands to knead the dough for 30 seconds. Then form the dough into a smooth ball. Transfer the dough into a bowl. Turn the dough over once to coat it with oil. Cover with plastic wrap and let it rise in a warm place until doubled in volume, about one to one and a half hours. While the dough rises, Line the baking sheet with parchment paper, then lightly spray it with olive oil. Combine the baking soda and the water in a microwave safe bowl. Heat it in the microwave until the mixture looks clear, about one to two minutes. Use oven mitts to remove the bowl from the microwave. Be careful because it'll be hot. Then, using a spoon or a fork, stir until all the baking soda has dissolved. Then, set it aside to cool. When the dough has doubled in size, transfer it to a clean counter. Gently press and stretch the dough into a 12-inch even log, popping any large bubbles. Use the bench scraper to cut the log into equal pieces. To roll the dough, work with one piece of dough at a time. Fold the corners of the dough into the center and pinch the edges together. Shape it into a ball. 
Dip each dough ball into baking soda water mixture until coated all over. Let the excess water drip off. Then place the dough ball seam side down on the greased parchment lined baking sheet. Spray a large piece of plastic wrap with vegetable oil spray. Cover the baking sheet loosely with the greased plastic and let the dough balls rise until puffy. While the dough balls rise, adjust the oven rack to middle position and heat the oven to 425 degrees on bake. When the dough balls are ready, discard the plastic wrap. Use a pastry brush to paint the tops and sides of each roll with a beaten egg and discard any remaining egg. Then use a paring knife to make three inch long by quarter inch deep crisscrosses on the top of each dough ball. Sprinkle the tops of the dough balls with pretzel salt. Place the baking sheet into the oven. Bake until the pretzel rolls are a deep golden brown, 15 to 20 minutes. Halfway through our baking cycle, we gently brushed some melted butter on the tops of our rolls. It was an excellent addition, but this instruction is optional. Take the pretzel rolls out of the oven and set them on a cooling rack. Let them cool completely, about an hour. So, don't they smell great? Yeah, they smell just like pretzels. They look so delicious. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they taste just like pretzels as well. Yeah. The salt on top is really good. Yeah, they also kind of look like hot crisp buns. <laughs> would you turn yours into a sandwich, or would you just eat them with butter? I think I'd just eat mine with butter. I agree. Although, I'm sure if you cut it in half and put some cheese on it, it would make a pretty good sandwich. Yeah. Thanks for cooking with Coggins Kitchen! Bye! Bye.